Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, old game, I guess, Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, just a little side note, for me personally, I I do enjoy the Assassin's Creed series a lot. I remember the first, first Assassin's Creed I ever played was with Altair on the PlayStation 3 and uh, you were in Jerusalem or something like that and you were just having to find these pieces of Eden. And uh, that's where the story started off. My personal favorite one, I would think, is Assassin's Creed 2. Like, the jump from Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2 was tremendous. It was huge. But uh, I'm going to get more into the games as I play the series. Why I'm hopping onto this Assassin's Creed is because I've never played it. <laughs> I've put a pre-order for this game in, like... 2017 or so whenever this game came out and it's been laying in my room wrapped in its cover all this time I never just had the time to sit down and play with it and after it I went on and played Odyssey and I didn't even finish Odyssey but I'm gonna get to more details about my relationship with Assassin's Creed games and I'm excited to get into this one because I put a pre-order for Assassin's Creed Valhalla which is the new one coming out so expect me to make videos on that game like when the game gets released I'm hoping that they give me it a little bit early from the game shop so I can do the update if there's anything needed to it or so but uh, without further ado let's go over to Egypt and play Assassin's Creed Origins easy I want the story but I don't want to struggle Go easy on me. Uh, not really my style, eh? So let's go down to normal. I want balanced experience. This is the default level of the game. You can change difficulty level at any time. Going into the pause menu, you got hard. Uh, I'm not afraid. Show me what you got. And then you got nightmare. Hard is for kittens, <laughs> nightmare is for me. I want the struggle and the pain. I want to wake up in shivers in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh god no, thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it on normal. from Siwa. I thought Magi was supposed to protect the Pharaoh. I am Magi to no Pharaoh. You see this? I can read my own name, Nat! Alright, uh, quick pause. Let me just pop on subtitles, cause, uh... Wait 
find you. We will find you in your sleep. Sleep. I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows and I will kill you all. Everyone who sniffed the air that day in Siwa! Let's get into this game. Uh, first of all, that was pretty damn cool. Alright, now locked on to him. That's to block. That's to light attack. I am the Magi of Siwa. Then you are a worthy opponent. Well, you don't look very worthy, fam. You are quick, Magi. I am powerful. Oh wait, there's some dead person on the ground here. Oh, well, you've seen better days, fam. You'll die in this lonely place, forgotten. This guy's only level two. Oh, look at that. I didn't like that sound. Did I just get impaled by something? Alright, not gonna lie, this game starts off on quite a high. <laughs> this tutorial I kinda like. Fight for your, your life. You. This place will serve us to one of us. Let How do I do a shield? Go. Let us come truce. You are not the one I sworn to kill. Question of honor! It is a fight to the death! So be it. <laughs> Alright, that's shield break. Get him. Ow, I dodged! Dodge. Can you give him the big one in the back? Oh my god, this guy's dodging is so bad. Give him the big swing! <laughs> god! Okay, uh, use R1 and L to unleash a special... Let's do it! Anubis awaits you. All right, so loot, heavy blood. Oh, I can carry this huge ass guy. For what though? What am I supposed to do with you? Neck, no way out. Do I get some things here? Uh, is there a sprint option in this game? No footholds here. Use up to use Anubis Animus. Oh my god, I can't read. Animus Pulse. I don't know, maybe my game is too bright or something because I can't see anything. Okay. These scallops must be coming from somewhere. Uh, pass through. All right, uh, first off, this game is a bit dark. <laughs> like, oh, well, that makes more sense. I can pull out a torch. All right, scratch what I said. This game is not that dark. Okay, X to vault. So we can move a little bit. 
Okay, this is your shield. This is to throw my torch. Okay, good to know. This is to have like a torch attack. Uh, squares to dodge. What does triangle do? Triangle does nothing. This just is your little animus pulse. Alright. So, why is this guy crouch walking now? Built centuries upon centuries ago. Okay, loot. Okay, loot. Amun. I have need of this. Could I not just smash that? Okay, so I'm guessing we have to go up this big pillar. But I just want to check out this game a little bit more, like around the scenery. Uh, I'm not going to lie, from other previous Assassin's Creed, it's it's pretty slow. Like, your movement is very realistic. Other Assassin's Creed, the guy is just like a bullet train. Like, he just moves so quickly. And here it's a lot more slower... A little bit more methodical, I guess you could say that. It's a good word. Oh my word, look at this. Jackpot. Okay, you clearly can't just break everything. Which sucks. Because I expected you to be able to break everything in this game. Uh, jump down into a pile of treasures. I would like to, but now I'm tempted to go see what that pillar does. Like, uh, I don't know if you can hear, clearly, like, if you're on your cell phone or if you're watching this on a PC or so, but, like, the audio is really good. It sounds really airy and, like, you can hear the wind going around you. So, that's, like, a real plus. The audio in this game is very immersive. I guess that's a good way of saying it. Okay, clearly I don't want to go that way. So I'm just trying to do a little bit more of exploring, seeing what else is up in this place. Uh, can I jump? Oh, you can jump through that. Alright, so you got a little bit of parkour. The parkour is definitely not as quick as your normal parkour is. Okay, let's just see, which way am I supposed to even be going? Alright, so we're back here. I guess jump into the pile of treasures. The riches of the ancients. That would have just brought me in. Well, that kind of sucks. I went all the way for nothing. Oh, can you really do this? Oh no, you can't. I thought it would be like all cool Prince of Persia where you can run up different walls and jump from one wall to another wall, but nah. This game's not that epic. <laughs> uh, let's loot up here. I think like, everyone who's new to a game just always explores the first bits and is super excited and like loots every basket and stuff. But. As you get further on into the game, you kind of stop doing that. I don't know how important all these little gold coins are going to be. But, oh my god, I found 400. <laughs> It'd be cool if they called it Anubis Pulse instead of Animus. So, if... Oh my god, I can't even say if you guys have never played Assassin's Creed before because... The game is old, like, surely you must have even heard about it, or something along those lines, but uh, you first start off at a fairly late stage in the Assassin's Creed history, in that when you first start playing the game, you already playing as a like, grand master almost, you're playing with Altair, and Altair has gets demoted, so he loses all his skills and you just go on like a quest killing people 
It's a very repetitive first game, the first Assassin's Creed. And that's where Assassin's Creed... Ah. That goes down there. And that's where Assassin's Creed 2 came into play and really took all the good parts of Assassin's Creed 1 and made it better. And took out all the bad parts of Assassin's Creed 1 altogether. <laughs> uh, so before it just says get a lot of... Up there. Light. Okay. R2 to drop torch. Oh, I can climb up this guy. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, before you just have to go to like these things called waypoints or vantage points. And it'll help you sync up with the world a bit. And it was pretty boring because... This world. It was just you keep on doing the same things over and over and over again. And what Assassin's Creed 2 did was it made those landmarks a lot more beautiful and a lot more scenic and more fun to go to. And it gave you a lot more things to do in the game. So you had armor. Of course. Alright. Alright, and you had the like Assassin's Creed 2, you had armor, you could like choose the color of it, you could do more missions, you can build armor, and it was a, a lot of fun. Oh! Die. Why? Watch out! Fire! Is that you? It is an ambush! You are telling me! to be dead and you will be we'll make sure of that oh overhead shop that look good I could carry this guy can I lunge attack him good teamwork fam oh god that was gruesome I see you have made new friends. They were setting up an ambush. It's a good thing I came to welcome you, huh? <laughs> it's been months. Look at that beard, huh? It's been nearly a year, my friend. Feels good to get out and fight. I am out of practice. In Siwa, everyone differs to the soldiers of pain or death. Or worse. I've killed one of the masked ones. The Heron. Oh, more. Mm. Come. It has been a long road. You need rest? Uh, no. No rest. Not until all the masked ones' guts lie baking in the sand. God, I have missed you. Where is your mount? Ah. Uh, let's call my mount. Ah. I get a camel. <laughs> Let oh my go, god, this is one How tall camel. Up since I left? This thing uh, is huge. Without you, the villagers look to me to keep on. Okay, I'm just telling you, this is fucking impossible for you to jump up onto a camel like this. <laughs> like, I don't think you can do that. But, uh, like, like I was saying, Assassin's Creed 2, you had weapons, you had... A whole lot of cool things that you could have Don't added onto your character. I do my best to keep the villagers out of trouble. I could use your help. I'll do what I can. But do not forget, I have my own justice to pursue. Like, uh... Ah, I knew I could count on you, Sammy. Like, this looks pretty amazing. Like, I understand you need a lot of open areas, like sand, deserts and stuff, for you to just uh, fill in most of the games. But look at that backdrop, that mountain is absolutely beautiful and amazing. You have this little rubble city that you're gonna go through and it looks so realistic. Whoa. Like... What happened here? 
These things look really great. Oh my god, look at that guy. Poor leg is gone. Like, this part here makes the game look amazing. As compared to Assassin's Creed 2, which was just like absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, poor guy. We didn't have much going on for like terms of visual appeal and stuff. But it had some pretty damn cool missions. Which I enjoyed. Then after Assassin's Creed 2 you had like Brotherhood and Revelations which still played with Ezio. Welcome home, Bayek. Oh my word. This you. is beautiful. And then uh, after like Assassin's Creed 2 you went to Assassin's Creed 3 which was like where you played in America. I actually didn't play that one. Uh, that I know of. I may I, I might have or I might not have. Greek soldier. Well, I can't, I've been to Greece, so. Eh. Look at these guys, they're everywhere. Oh my god, I'm gonna knock a donkey. Oh shit, did I just break that fence. Oh, I could have just pressed and held uh, X and he just continues following. That's pretty cool. So, after like Assassin's Creed 3, we had Black Flag and I played Black Flag and I finished Black Flag, I think to 100% because I loved that game. He is the plague on the oasis. As you can see, the soldiers have become more brutal since he arrived. Before they got drunk and fought with the villagers. Now that Maduna Moon is here, they are disciplined and vicious. All the more reason to kill him. Alright, good to know. <laughs> he is lean and sinewy. Behold what becomes of those who disobey Maduna Moon. Priest to the Pharaoh. Oh! Great God, Amun! <laughs> It is our own I just went off the track. Um, and I personally then went to, uh, you had Assassin's Creed where you played Unity where you played in like France, and then you had Syndicate. Syndicate was pretty amazing where you played in an industrial aged London. And then came this game. And I don't know. I don't know how this game is going to be, but uh, so far, visually, it looks pretty good. I really love the visual aspect to it. So, uh, this game also got like a lot of. Hmm, what's what I'm looking for? It it got a lot of good reviews and stuff. So, I'm gonna give it a full shot. So let's follow. Help Zifa into his house. <laughs> rest, my friend. It has been a difficult day. I have no interest in rest. I must prepare for this man. Hepzibah! Hepzibah! Once again, the soldiers! Bayek! Rabia! Eh, my Rabia! I am worried about you. Ah, you know me, eh? <laughs> you should be worried. Ah. Look at you. Cuts, contusions. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, sit. Hmm? Sit. Sit. Ah. I'll take care of it. Uh, you haven't changed. You and I, uh, I've always patched you two up. Made excuses to your parents. Times have changed. But you, I can count on. <laughs> Slumbering Osiris. <laughs> I thought you would never wake up. Ah, Rabia patched me up and I just. I'll let you sleep. 
You need to be alert to tangle with Medunumun. In fact, my friend, a new bow. See if you like it. Best bow to hit is right in the head. All right, I don't know if you can hear my dog, but he's going absolutely crazy outside. Okay, so I can half aim. Well, this is not going to kill him, fam. One of the dummies is sturdier than the other. Yeah, of course it had to be the one that I shot. Sultan, no one gets out of the house alive. Hepsiva! We're just here to talk! No Mark Rujek's been killed! Your friend, the Magi, may have been involved! Come out! If you wish to clear his name! Prepare an ambush. Nick! You will find my letters and burn down my place! I will be executed. Don't worry. I will take care of this. All right, killing some soldiers. Uh, an enemy has detected you, and they will approach. What's that? Who's there? Keep low. Oh, this is how you enter crowd. It's getting too close. Wait a All right, triangle is to. Use a takedown. When the bar is yellow, you have a small window of time to eliminate to eliminate the enemy before they attack you. Now for the rest of them. Boom! Headshot. He's going to be surprised. Alright, so I think there's two more guys. Uh, one is 17 meters, one is 11 meters, one is 20 hey, meters. Hey! <laughs> Worms can have you! All right, let me put your body in in here. Okay, this is pretty terrible if this guy does not see me. Nothing. Alright, good aim assist. Alright, let's hit him with the shield. Alright, he's dead. Oh! A little bit excessive there, fam. Alright, return to... What's going on with this guy? That does it. Thank you, Bayek. I told you these Nekatea that do not care. I cannot believe their goal. It is sad. Come upstairs. I will show you all the Magi duties of Siwa. Oh, 
All the problems of Siwa are here. I tried to help everyone, but it is more than I can do. So you are telling me you do not have the powers of a god? <laughs> but the real problem is that man you want to kill. Majunumon. The people were hopeful when he first arrived. Surely things would improve. <gasps> we soon learn the truth, actually. Find him and kill him. Majunuman is a lot more powerful than he looks, and he is surrounded by the finest soldiers. I do not care. You'll be killed. You need to get tougher if you want to murder that spindly shit. For sure, you'll need better armor. Uh, I can make that myself. Weapons are more difficult. The soldiers took everything in the village. I will talk to the blacksmith. Yes, Benipe can certainly make something for you. Or Senu can help you find what you need. Senu? Sen was alive. Look who is coming. Senu was girl. In fine form. Rabia has nursed her to help. I must thank her. The people are desperate for your help, Bayek. They'll help you if you help them. I understand. So I got myself a pigeon. <laughs> I know it's an eagle, okay? Calm down. Alright, damage and health increased. Level 2, fam. Uh, the false oracle. A uh, new quest, gear up. Okay, let's check what I can do. Uh, the false oracle. Okay, gear up should be the one I do first. I need to hunt for leather. Okay. When you get a chance, take a look at my table. Some villagers need help. Uh, water rats, family reunion. I'm not gonna take those things up. Hold up to call center to find new, new crafting material. Okay, I can play as a bird. I need to look for soft leather. Where on earth am I gonna find soft leather? Okay. This looks like soft. What is that purple thing there? Can you zoom? Oh, you can boost. That makes things so much easier. Okay, that's resting. That doesn't look... That looks intimidating enough. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this pigeon can do quite a few things. Craft a breastplate. So to craft a breastplate, I need to do this challenge. Okay, let's see what's actually down there. Oh, it's some impala looking things. And let's see, what is that purple thing? That's there. Oh! That's some jaguar. And that's a hyena. Who's gonna win this fight?
Sorry, but in the name of Nando's, I cannot let you live. What? I can't kill a chicken. Are you kidding me? Alright, so, um... I don't know. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this mission. I'm gonna cut most of it out. And then after this, we might just call it a day. Alright, so where's my mount? Nice to see you, camel. Let's get going. I'm tempted... To go up there with the bird, actually. Alright, you know, let me do that. Let's just go see. Let's just do this first outpost and see how it goes. Okay, yay. I found myself in some restricted area. Oh, that's so cool. You can literally just climb up anything. That makes things so much easier. <laughs> just climb up a damn wall. Okay, sink. Uh, perform the leap of faith. Not quite yet, fam. What cannot loot this? Oh, sickle sword. Nice. All right, let's do this. Leap of faith. <laughs> uh, some things never change in this game, and thank God for that. So those are like the sync points that are in every single Assassin's Creed, and they just get better with time. Um, personally, I don't think that's one of the best ones I've ever seen. I have seen better syncs. But it wasn't all that terrible. Alright, let's go hunt for the soft leather. Cannot loot you. Oh my word. Okay. Good to know I'm versing some tiger. Oh my word, can you leave me alone? But they didn't kill it! Oh my word! He's like the damn wolves in Skyrim. Okay, you're level 2 fam, I'm only a level 1 player. What you got from me, huh? What you got from me, fam? Huh? 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 Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. You ain't so tough. Let's take it. What you got, huh? What you got? What you got? Oh yeah, you ain't so tough. This will be enough. Thanks to Nair, goddess of hunting. Shh. 
to upgrade your weapon. What is this? Oh, I could one-shot you. What? That thing just dodged. Alright, so how do I go to the crafting menu? Uh, I'm guessing this is the crafting menu. <laughs> Alright, so I got myself a breastplate. Okay, I got my regular sword. What's a show hidden item? Okay, I can't pump my camel yet. Alright, so this looks fairly fine. Alright, that quest is all completed. So, let's head over to the current quest that we have. Okay, so this is targets. Um, you have the snake is one of the masked ones whose name was mentioned at the tragedy in Suwa. So I don't even know what this tragedy is that they're going on about. So. Uh, Bayek trekked across the vast Egyptian desert to, co to corner Rujek in the famous bent pyramid of Sneferu. Bayek's first kill, the death of Reju brought on Anubis's apparent cause on the Natron Mines or something like that. Uh, most of the men Bayek is after are yet nameless, but he discovered the name of Medunoman, installed as Oracle of Siwa by Ptolemon Maduna oversees the temple of Amun. His true interest, however, appears to be the vault beneath the temple. He brutalizes the villagers in an effort to learn the vault's secrets. Okay. Uh, find new quest. When you want a new quest, look for that on your screen. Your eagle can help you find it, or you can direct or directly open your world map. Okay, open the world map. Alright, so these are all the quests. Uh, striking the anvil, then you got some other thing there. And uh, these are all the little quests that you got. So you got that part of the map. Yet to. Oh my god! I thought this was just like the little bit of the map. This map is gigantic. Oh my god. This is just extremely, extremely huge. Like, I thought this was going to be the main area of the map right here. And then this was like, going to be the second part, but no, actually. This is just huge. Alright, so quests. Uh, uh, the false article. Suggested level 5, so I'm going to do head away, striking the anvil. Uh, let's do striking the anvil. Alright, guys, so let's head on over to this place. Why am I running when I got it? Okay, well, sadly, I can't fast travel with it. My eagle, but I do have a camel. Yo, camel, where you at? Careful, Bayek. Siwa 
was not like it was. Dolomy. He has brought great sorrow to us all. Destroy the statue of King Ptolemy. <laughs> Alright, as much as I want to, I want to also do this challenge. So, uh, guys, when you come back, we're about to start this. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. It's going to be a long series, but I'm excited for it. And like always, take care, stay awesome, and stay tuned for the next one.